Hello everyone, as the start of the lecture, I would dis like to discuss something about the objective of these lessons. The objective of whatever we are going to discuss about the video lessons is that you have to understand the concept logically and then you have to solve the question in least possible time. That is our objective of doing all these video lessons. Now how can you solve the questions in least possible time? First you have to solve the question with concept or with the help of logic or with the help of options or with the help of assumptions. But you have to be careful. You have to write minimum and maximum thinking must be there. I will explain me each of these things uh, question by questions. But do, what you don't have to do is cramming and memorization. Please don't do that. Uh, it will not help you in aptitude exam. Okay, uh, topic that I'm going to start today is indices and certs. Indices and certs. This is lesson one in which I will discuss about the basics of indices with some example now let's start with the basics if i write a into a into a three times what will become a cube y power 5 i can always write like y into y into y five times that is the meaning of basics first one then if i say a power x into a power y this will be equals to a power x plus y when the base is same the power will get Added. For example, 2 power 5 into 2 power 7. This will become 2 power 5 plus 7 that is 2 raised to power 12. Now you must know both sides. If something something is given to you like this 2 power 18, you can break 2 power 18 as 2 power 10 into 2 power 8 as well as 2 power 9 into 2 power 9, 2 power 5 into 2 power 13. You can break as many ways as you want. But the base is important is that when the base is same, the power will get added. Next, if I say 1 upon a raised to the power x, 1 upon a raised to the power, this will equal to a raised to the power minus x. For example, if I say 1 upon a raised to the power 2 raised, a raised to the power 7, it will become a raised to the power minus 7. Or if something is going to be 2 raised to the power minus 8, what is the mean of this 2 raised to the power minus 8? It automatically means that this is equals to 1 upon 2 raised to the power 8. Now, if I say a power x upon a power y, this can be written as a power x into a power minus y because 1 upon a, pi, a power y, I can write as a power minus y. This will become a power x minus y. Now, for example, 2 power 18 divided by 2 power 7, this will be equals to 2 power 18 minus 7 that is 2 raised to the power 11. Next is a into b power x. a into b power x is equal to a power x into b power x. For example, uh, 7 into 9 power 8 will be equal to 7 power 8 into 9 power 8. Or otherwise, if let's say 20 power 9 is given to me, 20 power 9, I can write like 2 power 9 into 10 power 9 or 20 is 5 into 4 power 9 5 power 9 into 4 power 9 so you must know both ways left hand uh, a into b power x is a power x into b power x or vice versa should also be known to you next is a raised to the power 0 is equals to 1 but there is a condition that a should not be equals to 0 because 0 power 0 would be 0 not 1 so a raised to the power 0 is 1 given that a should not be equals to 0. Now if I write a power x raised to the power y, what does this mean? This means a raised to the power x into y. Whenever you will open the bracket, the power will get multiplied. Whenever you open the bracket, the power will get multiplied. For example, if I say 2 power 3 power 4, this is equals to 2 power 3 into 4 that is 2 raised to the power 12. So whenever the bracket is open, uh, the power will get multiplied. If something like this 2 raised to the power 18 is given to you, 2 raised to the power 18 is given to you, you can write like this, this equals to 2 power 9 power 2, you can write like this, or you can also write like this, 2 power 3 power 6. The main thing is that 3 into 6 is 18, 9 into 2 is also 18, but you only have to add the bracket. Now, if I write 2 raised to the power, 3 raised to the power, 4 raised to the power, 2. Now you can see that there are two brackets. 
If there are two brackets, first I will open the larger one. Two is to the power three will be as it is. Four into two. Once the, this bracket will open, this becomes four into two, eight. Four to the eight. Now again, this bracket open. This becomes three into eight. Two raised to the power twenty-four. But if a positive is given, some number is given. Let's say two raised to the power thirty is given. Now you can write this and two brackets like this. Two raised to the power two. Raised to the power three. Raised to the power five. Two three is a two three is a six six five is a thirty. So you can write like this. Two raised to the power thirty. This can be written like this, or it can be written like this: two raised to the power five. Five three is a fifteen. Fifteen two is a thirty. This is same thing. So you can write the two uh, raised to the power thirty like. What if write I write like this? Thirty six. This means the positive square root. Positive square root. Of thirty six, this will be equal to only plus six, not minus six. So it means x is equal to root forty nine. This is not equal to plus minus seven. This is wrong. This is not equal to plus minus seven. F if x is equal to forty nine, it automatically is positive square root of forty nine. You only have to write the answer is plus seven. If x square is equal to forty nine, that is a different matter. X square is equal to forty nine. This can be solved in two ways. X square minus forty nine would be zero. It means that x minus seven x plus seven would be equals to zero because x a square minus b square I have applied because it will become x square minus seven square and this will become like this. Now it, from here x could be seven or minus seven. Two values are possible for x. Otherwise. If I say x square is equal to forty nine, this means that x is equal to plus minus root forty nine. This is right way to solve, but the wrong way is that x is equal to forty nine and plus minus seven. This is the wrong way to solve this question. It's a wrong way. This is not the right way. This is the this is wrong way. This is the correct way. So. X square is equal to forty nine. X is equal to plus minus root forty nine. Root forty nine value is always seven. This is because this is the positive square root. This is the positive square root. The positive square root of thirty six. Now, what if the question says like this? Now, let's say it's like this. X. What is the mean of this? It means that X raised to the power one by three. This is means x raised to the power one by eight. So this is the power one by eight. If n is written, is this means that this x raised to the power one by n. Now x raised to the power five raised to the power. This is what is the mean of this? This means that x raised to the power five into one by six. So x raised to the power five by six. Other way around, if you want to write x raised to the power eight by nine, this can be written as x raised to the power eight. By nine, this is both are the same thing. So you must know how to write in the both ways. I will discuss some more concepts on indices and with some examples in the next lesson.